Hello, I'm Mary Lee LeBay, and I am a shamanic practitioner, hypnotherapist, past life regressionist, astrologer. I do tarot. I've been on this spiritual journey since the mid to late 60s, 1960s, and my interest since I was a child has been in past life regressions, even though nobody was ever talking about it back then. Um, but over time, over the decades, I um, ended up being able to experience past lives for myself and then get trained. So I want to share that experience with you today. You might be experiencing it by having intense visuals, which would be great, you know, allowing it to unfold like a movie. Not everybody gets that. Sometimes it's more like little pictures and sometimes it's more of a kinesthetic feeling. So you might have visuals or you might have feelings about it, gut feelings. But either way, just go with that and allow it to unfold. For many people, it feels like they're just making up a story. And I really encourage you to just go ahead and make up the story. It doesn't matter. You can come back and do this over and over again. But the first time through, just allowing that experience to happen, allowing the memories to come and flood into you. You're exercising new muscles. So let's just go ahead and get ready and let's, let's do it. Okay, so settling into your comfy space and taking a nice deep breath. And we're going to be doing this with our eyes closed. So taking a nice deep breath in and exhaling, letting go of the busyness of the day, all the to-do list, and just really going inside to that still point deep within you. Taking another deep breath in. And again, exhaling and relaxing even deeper. And I would like for you to imagine that you have a beautiful crystal right out in front of your heart and another crystal directly behind you about the same distance and a beautiful crystal at the end of your right arm and another one to your left. And if you were to draw lines between each of these crystals, you would find that they intersect right at your heart. And placing a crystal directly over your head and one beneath your feet. And again, connecting them at your heart. And if you were to connect all of these crystals, you would find that they create a double-pointed four-sided Pyramid. So you have a pyramid pointing upward above your head and another one pointing downward beneath your feet. So just notice what it feels like to be within this pyramid, feeling the energy all around you and relaxing into the, this wonderful experience of being in this double-pointed pyramid. And as you relax into it, I invite you to imagine being in your favorite safe space, a place of relaxation, protection, and connection. And it may be a place that you've been to in this lifetime, or a place that you go to in your imagination that allows you to feel free to be yourself. And as you find yourself in this safe space, just explore it with the curiosity of a child. And as you're looking around, you discover that there is a gift that has been left there for you, a gift of empowerment that will bring you certain traits and characteristics that will be so valuable for you on your journey into a past life in a few moments. And as you discover this gift, this object, 
Take it in your hands and notice what it is. And notice how it makes you feel. This gift has magic, like a Harry Potter magical tool. And notice how it empowers you and what you might be able to do with this gift. And now holding this gift and being seated for a meditation there in your safe space. And settling in, going into the deepest meditation that you would enjoy experiencing today. And as you go deeper and deeper, as I count from three to one, three, two, one. And you begin to imagine that there is a hallway stretching out in front of you. And this hallway can look like anything you choose. And you notice as you move along this hall, that there are doorways, each one leading to a past life, memories, experiences that will be so valuable for you at this time in your life. And as I count from three to one, finding yourself in front of one of these doors, three, two, one. and just noticing what this door looks like. And this door begins to open. As you move through, do you go indoors or outdoors? And again, exploring this environment with the curiosity of a child. And notice how it feels to be there. And what you might be doing at this time. And are you there alone or with others? And what else do you notice? And if you're not really sure, then you can simply imagine a place where you think you've had a past life, the Wild West, Victorian England, Aztecs, Africa, Asia, could be anywhere, and just imagine that environment and begin to let the story unfold. And so when you go to sleep that night, where are you? Where do you sleep? And when you get up the next morning, what do you set off to do? What is your day like? What are you doing? What is your occupation? And as you continue through your day, what is the next notable experience that you have there? And do you feel like you're male or female? And moving ahead in time to the next notable experience. And what's happening now? And what else do you notice about that experience? And as I count from three to one, you'll know where in the world this lifetime is taking place. Three, two, one.
And as I count from three to one, you'll know the approximate year or date. Three, two, one. And moving ahead now in time to the next notable experience. What are you noticing next? And do you marry in that lifetime or have a significant other? And do you have children in that lifetime? And if so, how many? And what else do you know about that lifetime? What is your occupation? What is it that you do? And do you have any hobbies or interests outside that occupation? Any particular talents? And moving ahead in time, what is the next notable experience that you have? How old do you live to be? And what is the circumstance of your death? And when you are older and nearing that end point, you look back over your life and you just assess it and you notice your character and the purpose that you fulfilled or attempted to fulfill in that lifetime. And what do you know about that? What roles did you play? And we've come to the end of our time, and you'll be able to go back and do this again and again and get more details. I'd like to ask your subconscious mind to continue to bring you insight, wisdom, and understanding in the days and weeks to come. And as I count from one to five, returning here to the present moment, refreshed, alert, and aware, one, two, three, coming up, four, aware of this time and space, and five, fully alert and aware, and returned here to the present moment. So when we end our segment today, it would be great if you could just relax and journal and take some notes and allow your mind to be open and relaxed so that even more memories come in. If, you know, maybe you just had kind of a snippet or a picture of something or an inkling and allow that to develop and if you would like to have a longer version of this, I invite you to my website. And there on the right hand side of the home page, it says get your free past life regression. And I have a, a much longer version of a past life that you can enjoy. In order to get that, you sign up for my newsletter. I give lots of information about spirituality and then you can enjoy that past life uh, regression as often as you want in the longer version and I give a little more background information about how to do it. 
Many blessings to you. I am so honored to be here and let me know if there's anything I can do to support you and help you on your journey.